up, gentlemen? So this may come as a bit of a surprise for you, but I have not always been a confident dude. I've been pushed around, I've been taken advantage of from everybody from my stepfathers to my girlfriends, to friends, to coworkers. People took advantage of me because they perceived me as weak. And the biggest problem with being viewed as weak and having people take advantage of you and push you around is that it totally destroys your confidence and self-esteem. I know because I was there until I identified these things that I was doing and I worked on them. Gentlemen, it's possible. Today I'm going over seven reasons why people view you as weak and how to fix them. The first reason why people view you as weak is that you don't stand up for yourself. Are you somebody that gets pushed around? Are you a people pleaser? Do you do what other people want you to do as opposed to what you want for you? Learning to say no is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. But once I did, once I said it for the first time and realized that the world wasn't going to collapse around me and it was okay if people didn't like me, like this was like mind blowing stuff for me. When people know they can't push you around, they don't with you. The second reason people think you're weak is that you don't have an opinion. If you don't have an opinion about something, a lot of times you sound dumb. And when you sound dumb, when you sound uneducated, when you sound uninformed, people view you as weak. So, Brian, what do you think about that Alpha M character? I don't know. Instead, you should be like, yo, that Alpha M is the bomb. I definitely give this video a big thumbs up if I were you. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe. See what I did there? Have an opinion. This goes for guys, but this also goes for women. And for the three sassy Alpha M viewers out there that are actually ladies have an opinion because there's nothing less sexy than when a guy asks you a question and you're like, <laughs> I don't know. Dumb equals weak. And if people perceive you as being stupid and not educated or just dumb, it doesn't matter if you've got six pack abs and chiseled pecs. You are weak. Number three. Um, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know that I'm saying to not use filler words because if you use filler words and cannot get a message out eloquently enough or just speak in a reasonable fashion without having to pause or say um or lie. Weak. You gotta work on eliminating filler words as much as possible because when you use them constantly or can't say something without using like 10 of them, it makes other people think you are weak and dumb. Number four. Sweat rings. Sweat rings are one of those things that automatically and instantaneously sends a subliminal message to everybody else around you that you're scared, that you're nervous, that you're unconfident. Gentlemen, the solution is the Thompson Tea. Today's video sponsor and the only undershirt guaranteed to keep you dry. At first glance, this looks like an ordinary undershirt, but this is a Thompson Tea, which means it's not ordinary, it is extraordinary. And the reason is because this is the only undershirt on the market that has patented technology guaranteed to keep you dry and confident all day long. You're like, yo, how can that happen, Alpha? This is the underarm sweat barrier. It's sewn into every single Thompson T. What happens, you're still sweating like normal, but the barrier, the Thompson T, boom! It stops it in its tracks, and then evaporation happens. So all day there you are just confidently kicking it, right? All your boys are looking all weak with sweat rings everywhere, but you're like, yo, check it. And they're like, oh my God, Brian, do you not sweat? And you're like, yeah, I sweat, but I'm wearing a Thompson and they got me covered. If Thompson T sounds familiar, I've talked about them a bunch of different times, but they've also been featured on Shark Tank, on The Doctors, on The Today Show. I mean, they've gotten a serious amount of press. And the reason is because their undershirts are like cutting edge, like revolutionary. The beautiful thing about Thompson T's, they've got a lot of different fits. They've got regular, they've got slim fit, they've got v-neck, they've got crew neck, they've got deep V. They come in white, they come in gray, they come in black, they come in beige. There's a link down below to go check out Thompson T. It is my personal opinion that every single one of you should have at least one in his wardrobe for those times when you're getting dressed up and you don't want to let him see you sweat to make sure that you are being perceived as confident. Also a discount code down below, which means you're getting them for an even better deal. So you might want to pick up one, two, possibly three. The fifth reason why people view you as weak is that you've got weak body language. Body language is one of those things that we talk about all the time because it's so damn important. All about nonverbal communication, including your hand handshake eye contact it's a birthmark 
the way you sit, the way you stand, the way you walk, the way you move when you're just interacting and chilling. Gentlemen, it all plays into it. If people view you as having strong, confident body language, this is like the name of the game, right? You've got to make sure that you're giving the impression that you are strong and that you are confident. But if you're walking around and you've got weak ass body language and you're never looking people in the eye, people will own you because they know that they can push you around because in their head, they look at you and they're like, yo, there's a mark. There's some Somebody who's a puss, I can push them around because they look weak. The sixth thing that makes you look super weak is making fun of other people. Gentlemen, I am here to tell you, if you want to look confident, you want to look strong, you never talk trash about other people. Never put anybody else down. Strong, confident men don't feel the need to put other people down. Instead, they're there to help. They're there to encourage. And last but certainly not least, the seventh thing that makes you look super weak is not believing in yourself. Gentlemen, this is one of the things that I try to stress to you in every video, is that you are amazing, you're beautiful. If I can do what I've done, you can do a whole lot more because you're more charming, you're better, and you're more confident than my ass was at your age. I believe in you. I know that you're gonna do incredible things in this world, but it only can happen if you believe in yourself. Like, I can only be a cheerleader so much. Like, come on, Johnny, good job, Brian, kick ass, Tommy. End of the day, it's other people. They've gotta look at you and understand that you are somebody not to mess with, that you're strong, that you're confident, and that you believe in yourself. It's an inner strength, gentlemen, when you believe in yourself, when you're confident in your abilities and your ability to affect the world in a positive way, nothing, but nothing can stop you.